So you got your very first omnibus, but you're not quite sure what you're supposed to do. Stay tuned, I'm going to walk you through it as we unwrap my new omnibus. Welcome back to the 905, uh, the channel where we talk about comic books, collectibles, and whatever. I am Rob. Thanks for tuning in. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and the uh, like button, the thumbs up one that's down below. I would really appreciate it. So I'm not really sure where you are in the world as we record this. It's in April. I am in uh, Ontario, Canada, where we are in our 473rd lockdown since this global pandemic started. What may have been at this point 10 years ago, I've lost all track of time. Uh, my hair is out of control and I may have gained m more weight eating um, uh, ice cream in the last few months than I have uh, in my lifetime. But maybe you've found yourself with a little bit more time on your hands than normal and you want to get into the omnibus collecting game, which is completely cool to do. Uh, if you look at my last video, I talked about how I got into collecting, started off with statues, slabs, and then into omnibuses. Um, so I'm right there with you. I get it. Uh, and what better way and what better time to get into collecting omnibuses than right now? Because in, in essence, you probably do have the time to do so. So you just finished watching Falcon and the Winter Soldier on Disney Plus, and you're really interested to find out more about the source material. Well, listen, we know it stems from Captain America. Oh, no, not that one. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, and you want to have a better understanding of what it is. Well, listen, what better way to, to gain that knowledge and to dive into that world than with a collected edition like the Omnibus? So... This is the omnibus that came from um, the Ed Brubaker Captain America run. This collects uh, 25 issues. Uh, the first 25 issues of Ed Brubaker's uh, run on Captain America, um, it actually collects issues 1 to 25. So right there, uh, the description and the amount of issues collected, uh, they match up. So that's good. Uh, as well, it also collects Captain America's 65th anniversary special and the Winter Soldier Winter Kills One Shot. Uh, this is the story that the Captain America movie from 2014 uh, was based on and then obviously spun out into the Falcon and Winter Soldier television series. Um, now, actually, I just got this recently for my birthday. My, my lovely family just gave it to me. Uh, maybe I would have done an unboxing video, but it's kind of awkward to, to pause your birthday celebrations, run downstairs, and start filming. But I'm going to tell you what I am going to do. I'm going to do an unwrapping because this is still in its plastic, and we're going to take a look. And I'm also going to tell you what you do when you get your first omnibus because as much as you want to just rip it open and start taking a read you got to actually take a little bit of care listen here's the reality these things are pricey much more expensive in canada than they are in the u.s so there is a little bit of care that you have to take when you get your first omnibus so we're going to do it together and i'm going to show you what you need to do so first off when you are about to open your um your new omnibus and you've got the plastic you want to make sure you have um, something to cut it open with the plastic so you don't damage your book or the pages inside. Uh, luckily for me, my daughter has left her um, safety scissors in my office. Uh, I wouldn't normally recommend using safety scissors to take off the plastic, but hey, you roll with what you got. So I'm actually... See, what you don't want to do is probably cut it. Oh, got it. Look at that. Okay, good. Didn't get it. Might have got it this time. Now, admittedly, I've never actually read this story before, the, the Winter Soldier. Very familiar with it, but I have never read it. But you're not really here for a review uh, or my thoughts on this story from Ed Brubaker. You're here to find out what do you do when you have your very first omnibus. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna move the camera and show you because you have to do something that only chiropractors are allowed to do. You've gotta stretch that spine. Okay, so we've changed the camera angle so that at least you can see what it is I'm gonna be doing with the book here. First thing, first tip, uh, you're gonna to wanna to remove your slip cover. It looks nice and pretty, but I'm gonna tell you right now, when you when it comes time to reading it, you don't wanna read it with a slip cover. These things can easily rip, 
um, tear, which is also another word for rip if you're looking for uh, synonyms. Uh, you can get dents, scratches. Um, well, what's the point? So take off your slip cover. You don't need it when you're reading it. You also don't need it for what we're going to do. If you want to, you can smell it if you've got one of those weird book uh, fetish things. Uh, it smells great. Uh, but this is this is it. This is your very first omnibus. Uh, what is it you want to do? Well, first thing you want to do is understand this is the spine. I know it sounds kind of ridiculous, but yes, like every normal book, this is the spine of the book. And you want to stretch that spine. So why is it you want to stretch the spine? Well, right there is, let me see if I can, you can, uh, and this one's not that bad. There's a bit of a, a ribbon that's right here. And what you want to do is obviously when, when the, the book goes through its binding process, there's glue involved, some of it's sewn in. Uh, DC and Marvel do their bindings a little bit differently, but at the end of the day, you want to ensure that you take care of your book. And the best way to do that is by stretching the spine out to removing some of the, the, the buildup of glue to the binding. It's relaxing. You want to relax the pages in the book. And the best way to do that is you put your, your covers down and essentially you're just going to fan, fan it out. You want to separate some of those pages relax the pages almost like meditative just relax what you're doing you know stretch that spine relax okay you want to make sure that it rests nice and and flat on your table or whatever you're using to read it with all right i'm going to do this uh, a few more times hey, about two to three times on a new book also, if you don't plan on reading your book for a little bit, so you get it, you probably want to do this the first time you open it up. Um, but if you plan on just putting it back in the shelf for, I don't know, a, a couple of weeks or a month, you're probably going to want to redo this. Also, on much bigger omnibuses, every time you pick it up to read it, you should probably do this. Okay, so you want to be able to relax that book. So then what happens is when you start reading... The beginning pages, for the most part, they're gonna. You want them to, to kind of be held down a little bit, okay? Um, as you go, as you go forward. Now, this is a tight binding because it is really thin. What do you do when you have a thicker omnibus? Okay, so I have uh, come back with my volume three of Jeff Johns Green Lantern Omnibus. As you can see, it is much heavier uh, and much thicker than the Brubaker. Uh, Captain America Omnibus uh, right there. Um, I don't even know. What do you think? Half? Uh, yeah, almost half. Half the size. Um, so you want to do the same, even with a bigger, and actually it's more important for those bigger books. So again, you want to drop this down. Now, I actually ha I have relaxed the spine a little bit on this book, um, but it's been a, quite a long time. So, oh, and you can... Maybe you can hear the glue releasing, which is what you want to do. Now, because I've done this before, you're going to start to see, I'm going to show you right down here. It is what we call the eye, not the eye of Agamotto, but the eye of the spine. Okay. As you can see, it, it comes up off of the spine. All right, uh, and you're, you're, again, it looks like an eye. Okay, so the ribbon has come off, which is completely normal, don't worry, but that allows you to now read this book without it being stuck on the spine. You also don't want a uh, gutter loss. A term that you're gonna hear a lot if you start getting more into omnibuses is gutter loss. What that means is if your pages were really close together and you can't see what's going on, that's gutter loss, okay? Now, don't be concerned if your book like this one doesn't have a pronounced eye, like the Green Lantern one did. As you can see, it's got a little bit of one there. It's a little one that's forming. Um, obviously, you're not going to have it with some of these smaller omnibuses, but that's okay. It is there. It's working. The book lies flat for your reading pleasures. Look at that. See? And that's what you'd like. So the further you get... You don't have the pages lifting up very much and you can easily read your book comfortably. At the end of the day, 
what you want to do is you want to protect your investment because despite what your partner may say, your wife, your husband, whoever, even your kids who mock you, these are investments for you. You want, you, these are not cheap. You want, you, you spend a lot of money, your hard earned money. You want to make sure that you keep it as long as you possibly can. The easiest way to do that is by taking care of it. And it's one, don't read it with the slip cover on and two, make sure you stretch that spine. Okay, hopefully you found that to be helpful in how to deal with your very first omnibus. Again, you wanna make sure you, you take great care of this thing because you may wanna keep this for a long, long time. You may wanna resell it to somebody else at some point and you wanna get the most value for your dollar to ensure that it's in great condition. So please do me a favor, comment below, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and, and we'll see you next time. Take care. For the record, Tiger Tail ice cream is the best ice cream. Orange sherbet, black licorice. Come on. There's no competition. Oh, yeah.